Okay, we can go backwards too. So let's take the loading die. And uh, the loading die will be 9x and 3x this time. So we also know that our reaction was 18 microliters. And we need to add it to run on a gel. So again, we have our reaction. And the reaction was 18 microliters. In this case, this whole reaction will be our solvent for loading dye. And in this case, also, uh, what we know that the 1k of this uh, final volume will be occupied by our loading die, which means k minus 1 divided by k of the volume will be occupied by our solvent. Okay, so for this guy, we could find a lot of stuff, so let's see. So what is actually really cool, that from the previous expression, which was one ninth of uh, final volume, uh, is occupied by loading die, and eight ninths of uh, final volume is occupied by our reaction. From this, we could conclude that this is our, let's say, delta, uh, and this is, will be eight deltas. And eight deltas are equal to 18. So what we do, we find delta equal 18 divided by eight. And that is, um, so 2.8, uh, two and five microliters. So this will be your loading die volume. So good. So the next one was uh, to find the same for the three X loading die. And it will be the same. Uh, so one third of the final volume will be for LD and two thirds of the same final volume will be for our reaction. And we can express it from here. So let's write it again. So one third of final volume uh, is LD and two thirds is our reaction. So this is delta, and this is 2 delta. And in this case, 2 delta will be equal to 18 microliters. Delta is 9 microliters. So we need to add 9 microliters of loading dye to dilute it to 1x. And this is for your final volume. Uh, so we have three times nine microliters and it will be 27 microliters.